So this is the third experiment. Kelvin's double bridge. Uh, we are going to measure a very low value resistor here. So as an example for a low value resistance, we are going to use an ammeter whose resistance we all know is very low. That's why it's also connected in series. Okay. Initially, since we are going to measure the low value resistance, we also have to take in account the resistance of the lead wires which you are going to connect. So in the procedure, we will be doing uh, tabulating two columns. One is for measuring the resistance of the lead wire alone and then we are going to do it along with the load which is your ammeter resistance. Okay? The connections are quite simple. It's C plus to P plus. And uh, C minus to P minus. Ready then? Madhya lead wire Madhya na. Okay. Now we are going to use this as the load and connect it across the C plus and C minus terminal. Now this is acting as a load itself, low value resistance. And you see there is an option in this for uh, internal and external galvanometer. Here since this is not uh, so sensitive, we are going to use an external galvanometer and connect it here to the external G and switch this knob to external side. Okay. So there are three knobs. One is your P by Q ratio. This is seen from the Kelvin's double bridge here. P by Q ratio. We will keep this at uh, any one position and keep it constant. And these are your two resistance. These are your, your two resistance knobs. These varies in 0.1 ohms increment while this varies in 0.001 ohm increments. So what the procedure is you keep a P by Q constant and you vary resistance and you vary resistance and you have you have to vary the resistance in such a fashion that there is no deflection as a galvanometer. So to know that there is a button provision here. After you, you have to keep it pressed and do the connections. And if you keep it pressed and there is no deflection across the galvanometer, then that corresponding resistance value is correct. And you can tabulate it here for the P by Q the resistance and XL is equal to P by Q into R. Okay. This is your first tabular column. Okay. Let me start this. I will set it to uh, 0.1 ohms. Ah. You can see the deflection here. See how the current varies. So I am going to vary my resistance and bring it to a position so that it has minimum it comes to zero. Hmm. Now it is at zero, but we cannot uh, note this value. We need to press the button again to see that there is no deflection. See how much ever I press, there is no deflection. So this corresponding value of resistance of uh, 0.6 ohms and uh, what? Zero. 0.7 ohms, and from here plus what is this? 0 ohms is correct for the P by Q ratio of 0.1. So let me try for another value. You can see the galvanometer deflection. I will just keep it pressed and uh, vary it. Last one, the Abit.
Huh. Now I will try to press it again. You can see how much ever I press, it's not moving. So this value is also correct. So likewise, you have to take four readings and tabulate this column. And uh, from this, you can note down the doing the calculations. You can note the resistance of this lead wire. Now we are going to connect our actual load of ammeter and do the experiment and compute the second tabular column here. Okay. Hmm. Now the connections are quite simple. So you just remove any one terminal and connect it to the ammeter and the other side and the other side of the terminal is going back to C plus which completes the circuit. Okay. So I'll just do it again. I'll this is for P by Q ratio of 1. P by Q ratio of 1, you can see a slight deflection there. I will try to vary my resistance. Now you see it is at 0. How much ever I press, it should not give any deflection. It is not giving deflection. So you can note down the corresponding values of P by Q ratio, R1 plus R2 will give you your whole R and that will give you your total resistance XT. But you have to subtract your uh, resistance for uh, lead wire to get your correct ammeter resistance. Since we are doing this for low resistance values, we have to take care of the terminal of the resistance of the terminal also. So you, you do it for a repeated number of trials and finish the experiment.